Hey, good day everyone. This is Athens Clark County Mayor Kelly Gertz. It's Friday, July 17th, 2020, and I'm coming to you from beautiful Aguar Plaza here on the Greenway, one of my favorite places in Athens. And here we are at the height of summertime. For me, one of the interesting things about being a parent uh, is that as I watch my son go through life, it brings back all these childhood memories of my own. And so it's easy for me to kind of pull right up those days in Norfolk, Virginia in July and August, running around the whole town on my bicycle, uh, almost always with skinned elbows and knees. I think that was just a constant for about 10 years of my existence. Um, running over to the comic book shop in neighboring Virginia Beach to pick up the newest Justice League or Teen Titans. Um, meeting friends at this little undeveloped spot on Lake Whitehurst where we would um, perform just a slightly less bloody version of Lord of the Flies or finding a warm beer with my friends Jenny and John in the bush and then recoiling in horror at how bad it was. Um, but of course, this is a very different kind of time for children and families than 1978 or 1980 was. Um, in some ways, uh, I felt like when I was a kid, I was just oblivious to the adult world. I had no idea what was going on there. I didn't think about my parents' personal or financial challenges at all. Uh, I was just out of the house as soon as I could be and, and didn't have to show back up until dinner time. Uh, but here in the midst of this pandemic, I think our kids are ever more conscious of the challenges that we face and, and that our planet and our society faces and our community faces. Um, and I'll share with you that my household, probably like many of yours, struggles every day just to patch together how we manage childcare and, and meals. Um, it's not easy, um, but one thing that I've heard a lot of people say that I want to pass on to you uh, is cut yourself a break. Um, you're doing the best you possibly can do. You love your kids or the kids you take care of and that's really what makes the difference. It's playing the long game there. Uh, I've been thinking a lot about our community's relationship with our young people. I mean really just about the entire time I've been here in Athens uh, because that's been a focus of my professional life. And I'm proud of the youth support work that the county commission and the unified government and myself participate in uh, from weaving early learning facilities into our SPLOS package to this coming year's middle school support programming uh, to the community core that's gonna take late teens and, and young adults and set them on a path to financial prosperity. And uh, I wanna let you know because I know you're concerned about this coming academic year, if you're a parent or you have grandkids or you're a caretaker, that we are very much engaged in conversations with the Clark County School District, um, who of course have just announced that the school year is now gonna begin on September 8th. We wanna do everything we possibly can do to support our kids and support the district, um, whether that involves support around broadband access or use of facilities, or anything that we haven't even dreamed of yet. So I'm meeting with the Clark County School District's Government Relations Committee this coming Tuesday at 4.30, and you can find information about that at clark.k12.ga.us on the district's website, um, because we wanna broach all of the questions around what our kids would best benefit from bringing together all community institutions. So. Uh, be looking for that, and then later that evening, Tuesday evening at 6 o'clock, we have our regularly scheduled agenda setting meeting um, live uh, from City Hall and across the community in, in this day and time. I also want to mention that I'm continuing to meet with you on Mondays and Tuesdays from noon to 3. So if you just email my office at mayorsoffice at accgov.com, uh, my assistant, Deborah, who's been doing yeoman's work, you know, woman's work, uh, is, is helping to set up uh, half hour blocks of time um, because I miss seeing you in the flesh rather than just in those little two by three centimeter blocks on my computer. Um, finally, uh, there has been a lot of conversation, of course, about the masks. Um, the governor's office and the attorney general have litigation underway against the Atlanta ordinance 
Um, but while litigation is underway, uh, I just want to emphasize that our local ordinance is still in effect. And I also want to make clear that what we're doing in regard to that is, as we do so often with local ordinances, simply seek compliance. So if a code enforcement officer or somebody from our police department interacts with people on the street or at the entryway of interior places, all they're going to ask is for you to put on a mask. And in fact, they'll give you one if you don't have one. That's our preferred approach. It's the one we're going to continue with because we want you and your neighbors and your loved ones to stay healthy throughout this challenge. We're going to continue to hang on to each other. So be well, and I look forward to talking to you soon.